Welcome to Girl Talk. Thanks for tuning in and joining us today. We're filming on site at Ruben's Our Lifestyle Furniture. Now this is the location that's on Whitney Way. They also have a location downtown. So we're checking it out just to see how different the two stores are. Yeah, we've been on the Rubens tour, haven't we? Sure have. <laughs> we've gotten to the mall Multiple now. Multiple floors, yeah. new locations. But haven't been downstairs yet here, so yeah. that's what we're going to do later. There's Just actually two levels here. I didn't know that. I didn't either. I've been in this one a couple times and never ventured downstairs, so yeah. we'll see what's in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be lovely. And we'll talk about these great recliners that we're in as well. Mm -hmm. They're so sleek and elegant, not your grandfather's recliner from no, years ago, not exactly. even close. But Grandpa would love these he would. because I they're so comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, yeah. aesthetically and comfort-wise. And all, all these clothing. gorgeous colors that they come in makes us look a little less gray and black, <laughs> <laughs> even though we're gray Much and black. Needed. Yeah. Much so we'll talk with Adam uh, here at Rubens, our lifestyle furniture, a little bit later about these chairs and learn more about their store on Whitney Way. Uh, we'll also talk fashion, have to yes. talk some fashion. Yeah, maybe we'll get some color ideas for our wardrobe <laughs> today since we are so good at being non-colorful. But um, one of our favorite folks, Apricot Lane, Ashley and Carol will be here and they are just fantastic mother-daughter duo owns Apricot Lane, locally owned, believe it or not. Some people don't know that about Apricot Lane, but it is locally owned. These two ladies are fabulous and they have a great new spot actually in the West Town Mall, even bigger and better than their last spot. Even yep. more for us to shop. So I love that. <laughs> Even more dangerous. And they tend to bring props. And yeah. so uh, I love that. You get to touch and feel and really see. Mm -hmm. And maybe some holiday gift giving ideas because it is getting to be that time of year. It is. Yeah. People need a little bit of help. Sometimes it's nice to have some fresh ideas. You get kind of in a rut. Some, I do anyway, some years giving the same thing. So they'll give us some good pointers. Yeah, it's hard to believe that's already coming up, but Black Friday is just in a couple of weeks here. And I'm sure these ladies have been doing a lot to get ready for that. And sure. They'll have some goodies for us. To see. How nice so would it be to have? Have a Black Friday that's not super cold. Oh my gosh, I can only You can imagine. get out and shop and maybe <laughs> it won't be too bad. Knock on wood. But the, we'll see. Teakwood. Teakwood. <laughs> Knock on teakwood. <laughs> But speaking of getting colder, we'll be chatting with John and Chris of AccuClimb Mechanical Services. Mm -hmm. That's a mouthful. I can always count on you to pick up a good segue pun. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Janet's got it. She's on it. But you're right, yes. So we'll talk to them about some of their services and you've got some personal experience with them. Mm -hmm. We've talked to them quite a bit, but they're really, really great guys. and. Not a better time of year, in my opinion, to talk about heating and cooling because you're never sure which one to use this time of year. So oh, they right, both right. need to work. <laughs> right both of them need to be in you know prime condition, and these are just the best gentlemen to make sure that you have the best experience possible too, and you actually know about what's going on and what's going on behind the scenes, like with your furnace or with your air conditioner. So they're really great about that. Sure. So it. if you don't have a go-to guy yet for your furnace, yeah, you want to stick around. We'll be chatting with them next, right here on Girl Talk. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are filming here at Rubens, our lifestyle, off of Whitney Way, and we're so excited to chat with those folks a little bit later. Joining us now are two friendly and familiar faces I'm sure you recognize, Chris and John, who join us from AccuClimb Mechanical Services. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for bringing us on. This is a great time to talk about your services as the weather is going to start turning on us a little bit. It's that time of year where you're not sure what to use, <laughs> heating or air, right? Keep or going both. Back, right now. back and forth. Or both. But the name mechanical services, let's talk a little bit about that because we don't necessarily equate mechanical services with heating and air conditioning, but that's a big part of what you do. Well, when you, you think about the mechanicals in the basement, it's kind of how we narrow it down. Mm -hmm. um, we also do other things like refrigeration, so there's more than just the furnace and air conditioner end of things. Um, and that's kind of where the mechanical term comes from. We do duct work, sheet metal, refrigeration with restaurants and things like that, the hot side of restaurants. So. Mm -hmm. That type of stuff, so trying to encompass it in one name, that's where the mechanical kind of comes from. Got it, okay. So all that stuff that I know nothing about, <laughs> the mechanical stuff. And speaking of not knowing mm -hmm. a lot about that kind of thing, so let's talk about the heating and air conditioning, uh, your residential customers. Mm -hmm. When you're coming into their home, it's it makes me sort of think of when you take your car to the mechanic. You know, I have to admit, I don't know a lot about how my car actually works. 
and I'm at their mercy. And sometimes you, you worry about whether you're going to be taken advantage of, maybe sold something you don't need. And I, I assume that you probably encounter that sort of thing. How do, you, how do you deal with that and ensure your customers? Well, we see that quite a bit when we go into their home, especially if it's a first time customer. After a little bit, they get very comfortable sure. with us. So, but when we meet with them the first time, it's important to me when I go into a customer's house for them to understand their system, their mechanical system, and make them familiar with the little pieces about it. And then if there are some needed repairs or things like that, I'll kind of let them know or try and let them know what's really a priority and what is kind of like in the future. What Let's look for this that you want to watch for. A lot of the times it's more so, hey, next year, next season, we'll want to prepare and get this done. Keep us ahead of the game is what we're trying to do. That's the idea of annual maintenance. What's neat about educating the customer too is then it's not just you know everything and again that person's kind of at the mercy of your experience and knowledge but now if they can understand a little bit too I think that helps in understanding maybe what they need. Well, yeah. we, we, we definitely want to make sure you guys feel comfortable with us in the house first of all and second of all it's we want you to be familiar with your own pieces of equipment so you know what to look for. Sure. We want you, you to feel just there. right. Yes, <laughs> yes we do. Exactly. And kind of along those same lines, you know, how do we know that it's not just sort of an upsell, that there's a legitimate concern? What do you do in terms of education to walk you through that? Um, if it's a scenario where, in a case where you can't quite get to or the homeowner doesn't want to come down into the basement, I'm a big fan of taking a picture. Our smartphones are a wonderful thing. Oh. I usually will take a picture and then bring it up and show them exactly what they're looking so at. See what part it is. And we'll actually exactly. show you the furnace after we replace it, the, the, the part mm -hmm. after we replace it, and show you what was wrong with it. The Again. before and after. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Again, like a car mechanic that will save the, the part for you if mm -hmm. you ask for it. Mm -hmm. Really smart. Thanks, guys. Yep. Sure, okay. right. Um, so I know that you also are trying to help customers save money, but cheaper is not always better. Is that true? Yeah, that mm -hmm. is true. In this industry, you pretty much get what you pay for, and it's uh -huh. it, if there's if they're cheaper, there's a reason behind it. They're not doing something that they should be doing. Gotcha. And let's talk a little bit about um, really quick before we go. Um, when you do walkthroughs, when you go go to their house, what do you do on the phone before that walkthrough happens? That helps kind of get people ready you, for their walkthrough. Usually, what we do when a when a customer calls in, I'll if they, they need us to come out for a service call. I'll usually have them run through a couple of things on our checklist, like checking their front, the, the batteries in the thermostat, checking to make sure their air filter is clean. Go outside, check, so the, nice. check the outside on the on the outside piping to see if it's blocked. So you're troubleshooting over the phone. Yeah, Maybe it's a that. quick fix. We want to do that rather than have us come out and sure. just go, hey, look, your batteries are dead on your That'd thermostat. That'd be so embarrassing. Thanks for saving <laughs> and sparing us because that would be me. Absolutely. You're checking that when you get home now. Yeah, aren't you? Uh, exactly. you know it. Exactly. Well, Chris and John, thanks so much once again for joining us. These folks are from Accupine Mechanical Services. We've gotten to know them very well over the last couple months, and you guys are just fabulous. So thanks, thanks for having thanks us. For having thanks us out. for helping us out. And please stick around for more Girl Talk. We'll be back right here at Ruben. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We're so glad you tuned in. We're here at Ruben's Our Lifestyle on Whitney Way. And uh, in a few minutes, we'll actually chat with the owner and learn about some of the furniture that we're using right now. Looking forward to that. But along the lines of fashion, if you love fashion or you just need a little bit of help, we have just the people to talk to. We have Carol and Ashley from Apricot Lane in uh, West Town Mall. Mm -hmm. It's a women's boutique with trendy fashion where you like to claim both mom and daughter can shop. Right. That's I fantastic. love that. It is fantastic. Mm -hmm. We're going to specifically today talk about holiday. So if you need ideas for your gal, here we go. Let's get started. Well, um, some things on the table. We have our candles mm -hmm. that um, are made with the um, right yeah um, used wine bottles, and oh, they help. Perfect. Yeah, they're called rescued wine, <laughs> and they're made out of soy, and they benefit the animal shelters. 
um, from so around. Three yeah. things we love: wine, yeah. candles, and animals. And the animals, yes. <laughs> yes. right? Yes, yeah. and it just makes a perfect gift. That yes. is neat. Yeah. I haven't heard of something like that. Yeah. yeah, and there's all different scents. There's you know Merlot, Cabernet, uh, Cabernet. Yeah. Chardonnay, I have to. I think I have so. to smell this. Yeah, they smell really good. Oh, it and just they burn really nice. Fabulous. I can yeah. imagine mm -hmm. that burns really, really nicely. And the soy is nice. It right. tends to have less of that sooty That's so, residue, yeah. right? Right. Mm -hmm. And we exactly. do have a variety of other candles as well. We do, yeah. Um, including the diamond candle, and you can talk about that since yeah. you just got engaged. <laughs> Congratulations, by the Thank way. you. Um, these candles are also soy, but they have a ring inside them, so as you burn them, you get closer to the ring, and then you pull it out and you get a $10 ring, and then um, it also comes with a code that you plug in online, and you have a chance to win like a really expensive ring, too. So. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. It's a good holiday gift. It's and it keeps like giving gifts. throughout. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like two gifts in one. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. You guys have so many other great items here, too. I love that you brought all these winter weather accessories because that's always such a really nice gift to mm -hmm. give as well, just because you don't have to worry about sizing or exactly. things right. like that. It's right. always the perfect fit. So. Everyone always needs a new pair of gloves or a new scarf. Mm -hmm. and Are we going to talk about the boot cuffs? Because I love these things. Yes. They were super popular last year and we um, we found some really good ones. This year we have different styles. Um, we have leg warmers, oh, boot socks, but these are like the cuffs and they kind of just peek out a little yeah. bit of your boots. So they kind of accessorize your boots too. Mm -hmm. Such a my simple favorite. little gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah my exactly. favorite is um, their boot cuffs. We didn't bring them today, but they're from Wooden Chips and it's a it's a amazing quality um, knit product and they're hand knit and they're super soft mm -hmm. and those are really wow. fun to wear so that's one of my favorites. Yeah. So. They, they add such a fun little you know extra kick to your boots. Yeah. And oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah it's a little accessory. It's really yeah. really a nice fun way to change up your outfit and just you know add something fun especially in winter I think we all get a little bit tied down sometimes to our neutrals exactly. and right. Right. You know, more plain styles. Black and gray and white. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If that wasn't enough of a problem already for me <laughs> yeah. in winter I, I go full on. I know. <laughs> Right? <laughs> so I think, I think red cuff is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people feel the same way. They want color, but you know, black and gray are just always perfect. They're kind of those, so those, those standbys. Yeah. What are a couple, t I guess if you had to pick yeah. one top I item for the holiday gift giving, do you have a suggestion? Well, I love the blanket scarves, and I did last year, but um, this year we got tons of different colors. So we have a few here, um, but they're huge, and you can use them as a scarf. You can wrap them around yourself when you get cold too. So we have this one and this one and they just come in so many different colors and you can, you know, kind of make it a unique gift to you give someone. You know what that makes me think of is when I go to restaurants, I, I've wished that I had a blanket. Yes. Yeah. 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 And there we go. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it can be used as a shawl, right. blanket. Right. Um, yeah, it's, Nap it has. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you need at the time. Exactly. <laughs> That's right, it has They're a lot of. multi-purpose. I love are. that. I love yeah. that. We sell a lot of the blanket scarves. Sure. And now, you know, with um, the colder weather coming upon us, it's amazing, just a little scarf, depending on the blanket or, you know, um, infinity, how it can just change your whole sure. outfit. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to leave for now. If I could only tell you just how soft some of these things are. I, television does not do it justice. <laughs> <laughs> and so you also cozy. sell gift cards, I should say, yes, if we you can't do. find the perfect thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. exactly. All right. Well, until next time, ladies, thank you for bringing Great these in and you talking both. to us. So, so Apricot Lane is in West Town Mall, if you want to go check it out yourself and give these things a feel. Maybe as a gift, maybe for yourself. We'll be right back chatting with Rubens, our lifestyle furniture, right here on Girl Talk. Welcome back to Girl Talk, everyone. We are here now joined by Adam White of Rubens Our Lifestyle, the segment that we have been waiting for all show. Great to have you on the program today. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having us, too. <laughs> exactly. We've been exactly. relaxing in these <laughs> cozy relaxing. chairs all show. Wonderful. Yeah. These Wonderful. are fantastic. So I'm really eager to learn a little bit more about this location of Rubens. We've been able to, you know, see the downtown, downtown store a number of times, but I'm eager to learn like what makes you guys a little bit different. So. This is um, over on Whitney Way versus being downtown, and it's called Our Lifestyle. What, what makes it so different? 
Um, well, Rubens really tries to have uh, give each store its own personality. Mm -hmm. um, for many years, this was the Scandinavian location of Rubens. Sure. Um, it is no longer strictly Scandinavian, uh, although we do still carry a lot of the teak traditional Danish pieces. Absolutely. Like that piece behind you over there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep, uh, one that's of many. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a really neat piece. Kind of expand on that for us, if you would, on the Scandinavian design aesthetic and, and how you guys have brought that into this store. Sure. Um, most Scandinavian design seems to be very simple, a little more accessible, uh, very utilitarian. Mm. Things just do what they need to do sure. without being very flamboyant. Right, right. minimalistic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yep, smaller footprints. Okay. Yeah, everything's a little bit smaller scale. Our downtown location definitely does uh, more eclectic mm -hmm. uh, design than Absolutely. we do. We're a little more streamlined over this. Yeah, story. I think that's a really good way of describing it. It's It's got sort of, this ha This definitely has its own feel and it's um, maybe a little simpler. Right, yeah. exactly. Great. Excellent. And yet still elegant, like these chairs we're sitting in. Yes. Let's you talk got about it. these chairs. You got it. Um, these actually are a Scandinavian chair. They're manufactured by a Norwegian company named IMG. Um, Go are, Norwegians. <laughs> 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 Gotta give a shout out. Yeah. <laughs> they are a, really a staple of, now these are something you'll actually find at both locations. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. uh, they have been one of our best selling items for many, many years. I can't figure out why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're fantastic. I can't imagine. We're joking that we're going to be asleep by this segment because we're so comfy. But um, no, they're great. And the, the leather is it's just so soft, so smooth. Yeah. They feel so comfortable, so relaxing to sit in. So tell me a little bit about what makes these recliners different from a traditional recliner. Um, sure. That's actually kind of the whole idea behind these. They're made for people who like the comfort of a recliner, mm -hmm. but maybe are a little put off by the larger scale overstuffed totally agree it looks yeah. kind of old fashioned having right. those big old giant recliners yeah, yeah. so <laughs> that's what we they are trying to avoid no offense <laughs> anyone but i, I agree well, with that but it's very true i think recliners a lot of times you feel like you're sacrificing a little bit on the aesthetic end to get something cushy and comfy right, right. But, but you don't need to yeah you, to. you have the answer <laughs> not to mention trying to move it around in your home i mean have you ever tried to like oh move gosh. a recliner when you're trying to rearrange your furniture? too many moving parts and yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and you find crazy things in between them. There's not a lot of room for <laughs> snacks to fall in here, I don't think. <laughs> no, that's great. These are awesome. Let's talk a little bit about sizes. So you, these are obviously smaller, like we were saying, but there are different sizes available. That's right, yeah. So they are all going to be a little smaller scale, but in every style chair, they do at least two and occasionally three different sizes. We're all different sizes. It only makes sense that your chair should be different sizes. That's really That's interesting. interesting. Smart, yeah. I hadn't really thought about that. Yeah. And as um, Lauren mentioned, the leather does feel fabulous, very soft. Um, what if someone's looking for an alternative, though, uh, to leather? Sure, they do offer many different fabrics also, as well as an ultra suede option. Oh, OK. So, yeah. I like the ultra suede. Have you ever had anything in that? I mean, it's, yeah, it's it, really luxurious. It well. is. It's a nice. It's a nice option. Yeah, it does. It mimics the the feel and the look of suede, but is much much more practical. So much more easier mm -hmm. to clean. Mm -hmm. And are these some of your? Do you think these are some of your best sellers? These chairs? Oh, far and away. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So talk a little bit about some of the other things that people can find when they come into this particular location. Now, obviously, we've got these chairs, but mm -hmm. what are some of the other things that people are excited about? Sure. Uh, we do a lot of the mid-century design mm -hmm. uh, influenced pieces at this store. Um, like I said, everything's a little bit smaller scale. A lot of the smaller tufted sofas uh, that work well in kind of the smaller bungalow style homes. Gotcha. And you guys do such a fabulous job. I'm looking around. I'm, I need more time to, to browse through. Explore, definitely. But you do such a fabulous job of setting up these beautiful vignettes so that you can see what they would look like in a space, too, yep. with artwork on the wall and what the um, what it would look like with a carpet down and different sized tables in front of it. It really helps you visualize, I think, oh, what it would look perfect. like in your own home or your own office so that you can kind of get a feel for the spacing. Right. We appreciate so, that. Yes. Yeah. Um, is that something that's you know, just curious, uh, is that something that you personally are heavily involved in or does the whole team really get involved? Um, it is primarily my job to design the store and the different 
vignettes, but yeah. everybody contributes. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the store looks absolutely lovely. It it's, really It's does. really neat. I, I like what you said as well about how Ruben just works so hard to cultivate a, a different personality for each store, as well as um, you know cultivate these vignettes and these different um, styles that are going to suit such a multitude of guests mm -hmm. and shoppers and folks looking to furnish their home. You can really meet such a huge variety of needs. And literally down to the size of the customer. Yeah. I think yep. that's so great. <laughs> I was surprised customized. to learn that there's actually two levels here. Oh yeah. Oh, there's there a is. lower I level as well. I didn't actually know More that either. everything. Well, we've got a lot to do after this segment, <laughs> it turns out. <laughs> Shopping, got to go downstairs. So exciting. Well, thanks for sharing this with us. I think it's uh, really helpful for folks to know that there's sort of some different personalities between the stores and that you don't have to have an enormous recliner in your living room to be comfortable. <laughs> that is wonderful to it know. Is. And we're going to be joining you for a couple more shows in the upcoming weeks, so we're certainly looking forward to seeing more of your store and hearing more from you. So once again, thank you so much for having us, Adam. It's been it a pleasure. It was my pleasure. It was lovely. Thanks, Adam. We look you forward bet. to talking to you again next time, and we will be right out. Actually, that's it for this episode that's of Girls Talk, isn't it? We've got things to do, but <laughs> we're going to we go have shopping to do. do some shopping, yes. <laughs> well, thank you guys for all tuning in, and we will see you next time here on Girl Talk.